On the Hill today, making his second start in consecutive days, will be the right-hander, John Brebbia. Brebbia, 6'1", 200-pounder. He's 33 years of age. He's in his sixth year at the big league level. This is what he has done. This will be his seventh opener. Mike Tuckman climbs in. Drilled right field. And that one back. Conforto's going to play it off the wall. Here's Tuckman racing for a second. And he's in there. Good start, Mike Tuckman with a double. There's Nico Horner now, so man in a scoring position. Bottom. 94 to perfect location outside corner at the knees, and that's the strikeout he was pitching for. Morrell homered to right yesterday, also had a two run single and a very productive day. And that one off the inside edge, and it's ball four. So now two are aboard with one out. Something brewing for the Cubs. First and second with one away, and Ian Happ comes up. Out to straightaway center field for Mike Yastrzemski. Two outs. And uh, now this would be a great time for Dansby to kind of break out of this. Slump he's been on here on this road trip. Sky to right. Conforto now racing in, battling the wind, and he puts it away. So Brevia walking a tightrope. He gets out of this. Giants are coming up. Well, Hayden Wisniewski, it's all about the first time through the order. He's just got to control all of that ability that he has and, and the adrenaline and just throw first pitch strikes. Look out. Ooh. That was with an 88 mile an hour sinker. Sinkers hurt more than anything. Tyro hit by the pitch goes down to first and now Jock Peterson will come up. Peterson 0 for 3 yesterday but he did have four hits on Friday night. Drives this one towards left field and hit well. On the move is half. It is out of here. And the Giants take the lead 2 nothing for Peterson home run number six and he goes the opposite way to get it move it with that two seam sinker at 93 on the outside corner you try and pull it you roll it over it's a double play here back spins it and watch the help he gets from Mother Nature as it blows right into the bleachers so two down and here is Wilmer Florida that's hammered out towards left center field Tuckman going back near the wall and he makes the catch. Mike Tuckman get a good jump on it, was able to track it down and pull it in. A two run homer by Peterson, end of one, Giants lead. Who pitcher now for the Giants will be the right hander, Tristan Beck. So now Gomes having moved to third, Madrigal at first, and here's the leadoff man, Tuckman, who hit a hanging slider in the second pitch of the game for a double. And a laser one hopper spills out of the glove of Schmidt, throws it high and into the dugout. And the Cubs are on the board. So Casey Schmidt, who's a third baseman by trade, starting at shortstop. And once it came out of his glove, he overthrew it and it hit the netting. I mean, he looked like a third baseman playing shortstop there. You know, at third base, you can knock it down and still have time to make a decent throw. I, I, I don't know if in his mind he thought maybe he was going to be able to shovel the ball to second, but he just completely was the footwork was not there. Here is Jan Gomes, one away, first and third. Cubs down by a run, infield back. Broken bat roller, right side. They get one, return to first, not in time, and the catcher beats it out, and the game is tied. Two to two, bottom of three. And one thing Giants know about Jock Peterson is he can be streaky, especially with the long ball. Yeah, I do believe the Cubs know that too. High drive, right field, out of here, into the water. And the Giants take the lead. A hanging breaking ball. He went off his first at bat, and here he goes in the pond. Hello, McCubby Cole. Yeah, and now everybody looks at the meter. Two homer day, and he's not done yet. So two on, one out for Blake Sable. This is a little pop-up that could be in no man's land. It is! Wilmer Flores read it perfectly. That is a veteran read. A little Texas leaguer, and Wilmer Flores I mean, he took a chance. He, he absolutely did. The ball gets caught. This inning's over. But he's going, that's going to drop. I'm gone. I'm gone. Five to two Giants. Jack Peterson, who's two for two with a pair of two-run home runs. And he's got another hit. Well, Peterson gets this slider and just hits it off the end of the bat. But just good placement as he shoots this ball into center field. So back to back hits to begin the fifth inning for the Giants. They've got men in scoring position and the cleanup man Michael Conforto do up. Conforto with a base hit. 
One run scores. Here comes Davis. The throw goes to second. Conforto with his first hit in the series knocks in a pair. A pretty disciplined swing of the bat going right back up the middle. Take a little swing out. Digs out an inside fastball. Two men on with two down. Blake Sable coming up. Sharply up the middle and he's got a hit. And here comes Conforto. He's going to score. And Sable with his second hit and second RBI. I, I feel like I'm I'm watching Ryder's 10 year old team play right now. That's their fourth error of the day. And not like tough errors. I mean like easy plays. So now the Cubs have the bases loaded here in the top half of the sixth inning an opportunity to get right back in this ball game. On the ground softly hit Schmidt to second for one. That's all they get run comes in as wisdom is able to score and now it's Morel who singled. He's also walked and popped out foul. You need a home run to get back into the ball game. I, I would probably say this is a guy David Ross would send up. Little jam shot. And Yastrzemski runs it down. An unearned run for the Cubs and it could have been so much worse. Estrada 0 for 2. High drive to left. Half back. It's out of here. He got into that one for number eight on the season. That was halfway up the bleachers. That's middle in and he's as quick as anybody on this Giants team. And you could say anybody in the National League West because he can cover in. And San Francisco now up 10 to 3 over the Cubs in the sixth after the sacrifice fly by Wilmer Flores. And Tom Hawkman was fighting the wind and maybe the bright sun and he had a long way to go and he got over there and the ball. I don't think he ever touched it. Giants have second and third with one out. For Tyler Oscar. He gets another one. Down the line. Out of here. His second of the game. And the Giants open it up. Breaking ball down and in. We talk about how quick he is on that inside part of the play. It didn't matter if it's 97 mile an hour fastball with fade or if it's a breaking ball down at his knees. He gets to it. Doc gets a jam shot and a hit. His fourth hit. We'll have to smile about that one. Uh, he's just going to be sad to see the. Cubs bus leave this city. Eight hits in the series and none yesterday. 13 3, and there is a huge buzz around the ballpark. And why? Because on the mound is Brandon Crawford to third. That's one. Not in time. Half with a high fly ball to left. That was a 90 mile an hour fastball. <laughs> Well, Brandon Crawford, he obviously has pitched sometime in his life before he got to the big leagues. He looks like a pitcher out there. Wilmer Flores, listen to this crowd. Brandon Crawford, it did not start promisingly. He walked the first hitter, gave up a single to the second hitter, and then he ran the table. 